Well, you guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your SSD drive in four simple steps. Now, if you're using a Windows 7 or Windows 8 machine, by default, a lot of these functions are normally disabled. But it's always best to test these um, areas to make sure they are disabled because it won't do your SSD drive any good, i.e., if your defragmentation tool is still enabled and you've got an SSD drive on there it's not going to be helping that drive it's going to actually uh, cause damage to the drive now if you've got a working drive i.e. a mechanical drive then you can still defrag that drive as long as you're not defragging the SSD drive now if you've got a Windows XP or Windows Vista Windows 7 or Windows 8 pretty much you can use all these methods to actually optimize your SSD drive so let's get started we've got a Windows 7 machine here and it won't matter whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit it will work with all these uh, um, actual operating systems so we're gonna have a look at the defragmentation tool to make sure that's disabled for the C drive if you've got an SSD drive now some manufacturers uh, I have seen where it has not been disabled and it's still enabled so you want to make sure you check just to make sure it doesn't hurt and it doesn't take long so I'm going to go down to the run bar here and type in here defrag like so and we want to click on this defragmenter click on that once we get here is click on configure and schedule and as you can see here we've got an option here for selecting disks and we can also run a schedule which is recommended we want to take this out because we don't want to run a schedule to defrag the actual C drive but if you look at here you can actually see the C drive is being defragged it wants to defrag this drive and if this was your SSD and you had a list of drives here which were mechanical you can still defrag these mechanical drives as long as you're not actually defragging the SSD drive but sometimes it's just best to just take the tick out of this and then click OK and that will never run as you can see on the C drive and that's exactly what you want so we're going to close this off and that's the first job done and that's exactly the same as it would be in any operating system i.e. XP Vista 7 or Windows 8 the next thing we want to do is go to the command prompt so we're going to go back down to the start button here and type CMD and then right click on that and run this as administrator once we're inside here we're going to type in a big command I'm just going to paste this big command in here this is the actual command you're going to need to make sure trim is enabled and I'm going to push enter and if you see a zero here then that means it's been enabled if you haven't got a zero here and you've got a number or something like that then you're going to need to make sure that you enable it and the way you can do that is by putting a zero on there and try to enable it this way if that doesn't work then what's going to happen is you're going to need to update your firmware of your SSD drive okay okay let's try the next one now what we're going to do is disable the super fetch uh, area so we need to come back down to here and type services and then click on services here once we've got services open let me just open this up a little bit more okay so once we've got this open what we want to do here is come down to where it says super fetch So if we see Superfetch here, what you want to do is double click on this and open this up. And you can see it's set to run to automatic. Now if yours is saying disabled, that is good. You don't want it enabled, okay, especially on an SSD drive. So what we're going to do here is click on disabled, if yours is enabled, and then OK. And you will need to reboot the system at that stage. Now the next one we want to disable is the actual prefetch. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up the registry editor. Once we've got the registry editor open, we want to go up to where it says H key local machine. Then we want to go system. And then we want to do current control set. or control and then session manager I should say that's there and then memory management 
and then you should see inside here prefetch parameters and what we're going to do is double click on or click on this and then inside here you should say uh, see enable superfetch and enable prefetcher so what we want to do is double click on enable prefetcher and you'll see that that would be set to free if it's set to zero that's fine that means it's been disabled so if it's not and it's got a number in here you want to make sure that you set that to zero and click OK and then that would be disabled now you can see enable super fetcher here and it has got free in it but don't worry about that because we've actually stopped the service and it won't be running okay that's that one done so the last one which isn't really sort of a tweak for um, an SSD it really will sort of help you out as long as you've got 16 gigs of memory you will need to have 16 gigs of memory to do this otherwise you're going to run into problems so the first thing we're going to do is go to the start button here right click on the computer and go properties and then from here we want to go to advanced system settings inside here you'll see where it says performance click on settings and then from there we want to go to advanced and then we will see virtual memory we're going to click on change and you'll see it will say either automatically manage um, paging files size and all for all drives and stuff like that we want to take that tick out and you will see a C drive you may see more drives here um, but we've got a C drive here and what you want to do if you've as long as you've got 16 gigs of memory you want to actually turn off the page file okay and then hit the set button once that's done you'll get a pop-up box and say yes and then all you need to do is click OK and then OK again and OK and then you can reboot your system and that's basically how you optimize your SSD drive in four simple steps now some of these or all of these may be already disabled and if that's the case then you're good to go and you don't have to worry about it but it's always best to check especially if you have got an SSD drive since they're so expensive so I'm going to put some links also in the description from Microsoft to actually give you more information and some other helpful advice about SSD drives which will allow you to understand a little bit more about it and go into a bit more detail about the reasons why they're disabled and enabled okay so I hope you enjoyed this video so I hope you share out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit the like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date for when I upload new videos so thanks again for watching and thanks for your support bye for now